Hello everyone, you are welcome to this tutorial. My name is Eno Kinsley Kweku. And in this tutorial, we are looking at how to create a website with Microsoft Office Word. Alright, now let's have an overview of how to create a website. To create a website, you need three things. And these are the... One, you need a domain name. Hosting and web builder all right what is a domain name a domain name is just the name of your website so let's assume you are creating a website for Pentecost Church right you can have PentecostGhana.com that is the name of the website and that is the domain name if it is about your personal website and let's assume that your name is Enoch it will be like enoch.org that is the name of the website and perhaps that is the domain name okay domain name comes with extensions so some of the extensions are .com .org .edu .gh .gov each and every extension has its own purpose for example if you're website is for commercial purposes you can have dot com dot com simply means dot commercial if it's an organization you can have dot org if it's about government project you can have dot gov dot edu for educational purposes and so on all right now hosting hosting is just online storage so after creating your website if you don't host it you be the only person to access the website so you have to buy an online storage so that you can upload whatever that you have created online so that people elsewhere can also get access to the website that you have created and that is hosting hosting come with cost and domain name also comes with cost domain name is just your own name but you have to pay before it can be authenticated the same applies to hosting all right what is a web builder a web builder is just any software that can assist you to create your website we have millions of web builders out there but i've listed a few examples for you we have the notepad plus plus we have the sublime Dreamweaver, WordPress, Joomla, Microsoft Office Word, Microsoft Office Publisher. Microsoft Office Publisher is one of the easiest way of creating a website because it is a template application. The website has already been created, so all that you have to do is to get it, make few editing, and then host it, and you are there. But in this tutorial, we are going to concentrate more on Microsoft Office Word. Alright. Now, let's look at the necessary things we need to create a website. In this tutorial, since we are going to use Microsoft Office Word to create, you have to get your Microsoft Office Word installed on your computer. I am using Microsoft Office Word 2018 version but it doesn't matter you can use any other version you can use 2007 version 2010 version or perhaps 2016 version after getting your microsoft office word installed you need to also get a browser let's see example of the browsers we have the Opera Mini. we have the mozilla firefox we have Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, and Google Chrome. So any of these five browsers can help display your web content. Yes, after getting your browsers, you have to also get some images that can help you build each of the pages that you're going to create it for your menus so i've created this folder and i've named it source you can 
rename yours to any other name okay so when i open this folder i have images here that i have downloaded it from the internet so these images it contains logos and social media handles this is what is going to help me um, build the various pages in my website all right you also have the web content web content is the various write-up that you display in each of the pages in your website so i kind of having this write-up here so this is what i'm going to post on the web pages i also have gif and various videos that I will, I will upload it on the uh, web page to make it more nicer and interactive okay so that's my source folder now after creating everything you have to put whatever that you've done in one folder so whenever that you are hosting your website you upload that particular folder and this is that folder you can rename it to any other name though but technically it is called root folder even if you have renamed this folder to enoch it is still called root folder that is where you store your document in it all right so follow this tutorial and after this tutorial you should be able to create a website that looks like this So this is a sample website that was created with Microsoft Office Word for Kofi WC and Associate. Let's navigate through and see how it works. This is the home page of the website. This is the about us page of the website. This is the services and then contact us page. it's awesome so it's not difficult each and every one of you if only you follow the tutorial you can create a sample website of your own all right thank you for watching let's wait for the next video